How do you feel? <laughs> like I did it wrong. <laughs> right? It's a hole in the eye, in the iris, basically. Okay? And then we've got the superficial covering over the uh, eyeball itself, which is the cornea. And then we have underneath that a very uh, fluid chamber, it's an aqueous chamber. And then, of course, either side of the iris. Hey guys, it's Kavana. Happy Friday. Today is, what is it? Friday, September 6th. Um, for those of you that are new here, I'm Kavana. I'm a registered nurse in Southern California. I recently graduated with my master's in nursing and I am documenting my journey to become a family nurse practitioner. So it is our first official seminar weekend. Seminar is when we come to campus. We will be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, eight to five. Today, so far, as you've seen, we've just been dissecting this book and learning how to do our patient assessments. It's lunch, so I went and got food with Kimmy. Um, she told me not to show her because she's eating right now, but I'll have to introduce you guys to Kimmy in a little bit because you'll see her in the videos a lot. But enjoy the video, subscribe, join the journey, leave your comments, let me know what you want to know. <laughs> so we're doing a cryotherapy workshop in a class today. It's all close to funny. Sorry, hey guys, it's like blurry. <laughs> Yeah, oh look, they are so we're supposed to be practicing our technique. So it is Saturday evening. It is about 5.43 p.m. I just got home from class. Um, I was in class all day again today, 8.30 to 5.00. I didn't record much because today was mentally draining. Um, what you saw last was probably the little clip. We had a mini cryotherapy workshop. Um, that was cool, but besides that, we had a lot of information. We did a lot today. Um, so we are learning how to do our assessments with patients and how to document our assessments. For example, they were giving us patient case scenarios. In our class, we call them case studies, but they gave us scenarios and they would pretty much say, okay, this patient comes in, what do you do? So one we had was um, a 20 year old female comes in with burning with urination for the past two days. What do you do? What lab work do you order? What exam do you do? You know, what education are you gonna give her? Another one we had was 68 year old male, coming in for a physical, no abnormal family history. You know, what are you gonna ask him? What do you wanna know? What labs do you order? What do you do? Another one was a 23 year old female with coughing for the past two weeks. How are you going to assess her? What would you do? And it was overwhelming. And maybe the word isn't overwhelming. I will say pretty much there's no way to sugarcoat it. I felt like I didn't know anything because in class, once they present the case scenario, they give you a few minutes to talk amongst your classmates, and then you come back together as a group, and everybody's just kind of spitting out their ideas of what you do. And some of the things that they were coming up with, I was just like, I didn't come up with that at all. Like, where is this coming from? Where are you guys getting this from, this information? So I felt like I didn't know anything. Um, and I went up to one of my professors and told him, you know, I feel like I don't know anything. And he said, that's normal right now. Like, this is a whole new ball game. Registered nurse and nurse practitioner, like, you're learning a completely new area. So it's okay to not know anything right now. And I did have my moment in class where I was getting on myself internally, you know, feeling bad for a moment. Like, what the heck? Like, am I the only one here that doesn't know? 
And then on one of the breaks, I was talking to one of my classmates and she pretty much said the same thing that I had been thinking all day. Like, no, I was so confused during these patient cases. Like, I didn't know where people were getting this information from. So it made me feel better. It made me feel like I'm not the only one with this feeling. And then I'm glad that I'm making these videos because I feel like we all have these periods where we feel like, I don't know this. What am I doing? Or where people will look at us and say, oh, you're a nurse, or oh, you're gonna be a nurse practitioner, you're so smart. Everybody is a beginner at some point, you know? We have to study it, we have to learn it, we have to research it, we have to practice it. Nobody is born an expert. So if you wanna do it, do it. I feel like I'm walking in my purpose. I had a hard moment, but I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna keep going. Um, Tomorrow is the last day of seminar weekend, I'm tired, but I will be there at 8 a.m., maybe 8.01, 8.02. Um, we are practicing our assessments tomorrow, so not actually getting checked or tested, just practicing on each other. So eight hours of that. We'll see how it goes, and I will try to show you. Okay, so we are learning prostate exams right now. <laughs> Kimmy is going to demonstrate. Okay. This is our male model, quote unquote. I'm ready. Okay, sir, I'm gonna have you lay your belly on the table. I'm just gonna lift your gown. Just try to relax for me. Oh, it really is right So we're pretending she has a glove on and she's feeling for his prostate. Okay, that's it. It's normal. Great job, Kimmy. <laughs> we're also doing breast exams. <laughs> Looking for I found something. abnormal lungs. Yeah. Are all of these normal prostates on the... So I have it upside down for me. So ladies should be checking monthly, a week after their period. 75% of cancers are found in the upper outer corner. Yeah. Can you hand me my speculum, please? How do you feel? <laughs> like I did it wrong. <laughs> it's Sunday evening. It is like 6.40 p.m. As you can see, I am in work attire. I am sitting in one of the break rooms waiting to clock in for work. Um, I work nights and I wasn't able to get tonight off, so I'm working after class, but I wanted to come close out the video. I'm very excited. I made it through my first seminar weekend of FNP school. Um, today was a lot better. We got to practice all of the assessments that we learned on Friday and Saturday. So we were practicing using our ophthalmoscope, our otoscope. We were practicing learning where all of the, um, the points, I can't think of the name right now. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, what else? As you saw, we were practicing doing male and female exams. It's exciting. So I have six weeks to practice all of that. We go back next month, end of October, and get tested on it. I think the next video I do, I will talk about how I'm doing homework, studying, managing everything. But please leave your comments, subscribe, let me know what you want to see on the journey, of course. And for everybody that's like, oh, how are you working and doing both? Um, the quote I'm living by right now today is, I'm going to live a few years of my life like most people won't, so I can live the rest of my life like most people can't. Thanks for watching.